so hey kings queens and in-betweens welcome back to my youtube channel who is it who is it who is it who is it it's me sus antonio thank you guys for coming back to my channel to check me out if this is your first time coming to my channel what's up as to all my returners, what it is, what's Gucci. Got so before we get all up into this video and y'all get all up into my face because I'm pretty sure you can read the title of the video and what's going to be going on. So let me step back a little bit because <clears throat> this camera, I'm recording on my iPhone 7 Plus and I usually don't do that. So this the camera is, I'm a little different. I'm, a, I'm not used to it all like that. So I just got to get used to it. You guys have not already subscribed to my channel already. What are you waiting for? I think you should have done it by now. Also, while you at it, give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed this video and that you like videos like this. So if you're feeling bold enough, you might as well just hit that bell notification that's like down here right next to the subscribe button because it's going to let you know when I um, upload so first I'm going to use the NYX Shine Color Primer and massage that all over my face as you can see. So now I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in red to basically cover up any dark spots mainly around my chin and mustache area. And I'm going to use the green for any like red tones to neutralize my skin. And I'm going to take this Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blend that shit away. I'm going to apply both of these setting powders onto my skin. First I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me in Medium Deep 30. And after that, I'm going to use the Cody Airspun Loose Powder and Translucent. It kind of smells, yeah. A lot of people always say it smells like grannies and old people and stuff like that, but it's all right. We're going to mix both of these foundations together. Here is the Maybelline Fit Me in 322 Matte to Poreless. And here is the Black Radiance in Butterscotch. use the LA Girl Pro Concealers. I'm using a creamy beige to get under my eyes, down my nose, um, my beard, and the forehead area. Now I'm going to use the beautiful bronze to contour my cheeks and nose area. You'll see once that I blend this concealer out, um, the bronzer will kind of go away and you'll be seeing me reapply the bronzer again so it can bring some warmth back into my face. I'm so fast, so we should let go if you ain't mine, I'd just rather be single. Just bring this highlight back into my nose. So now I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder and pack that onto my highlighted areas. Now I'm using the Cody Airspun and Translucent to bake my face away at 350. Let me brush these bad boys down. Okay, so this is my first time using this brow pencil. It's from Primark. It's called PS Brow Sketch, and it is in the color dark. So, yeah, bear with me. It was my first time. It was only like $3.50, and it does a really good job. It's time to wipe that bake off, hunting. Now, using the Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium to dark, I'm taking Scope to scope out my cheeks, nose, and forehead. It's taking over. What is this? With my camera and this blush is from Miss A is called Malibu Glitz. So now I'm using the Nick AK New York Perfect 40 colors. I used the brown color for my whole eye and now I'm using like a yellowish gold to bring a pop into my whole lid. So now I'm using the LA Colors liquid eyeliner in brown to line the top of my lash line. Before mascara I'm using the e.l.f. just a regular black mascara. And after I use the e.l.f., you'll see me using a new CoverGirl Peacock Flare. I so love this new mascara. It's like the bomb.com. Now I'm applying some eyeshadow on the bottom and I'm applying some mascara. After that, I'm going to curl my lashes. And from there, I'm going to... Here, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama Gel to bring some color back into my brows. Also into my mustache and my beard from the powder. Now, I'm using the Nick AK Lip Pencil in brown to line my lips. So, now I'm using the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lipsticks in Nude and Sultry for my lips. 
to top it off, I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. One last thing, you can't forget the highlight. I'm using the Wet n Wild Crown on My Canopy and Precious Petals as highlighters today. Baby, you got everything I want, everything I like, everything I need. Can't wait for you to come be with me and come get with me. I just want that one. Alright, guys, so here's the completed look. This is what I created just using drugstore products, affordable drugstore products. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you think I turned it out. Like, did I turn it out? Am I blinding? You right now. Give this video a thumbs up. Do you see this highlight? Wet and wild. You got me looking wet and I'm feeling wild a little bit after this. Seriously, I hope you enjoyed this video. But anyhow, guys, as always, be at peace and not pieces. And until next time, I see you. I see you later. King, King Couture, that was for you because you be having that voice stuck in my head. Alright, guys, until next time, I see you. Bye. Hugo, what up? That's Cindy, yeah, you feel silly, and that's where I'll be. I bring my.